So you're thinking about exhibiting at your very first trade show. Super exciting, but you want to make sure that you crush it, that you don't look like a rookie out there, but you look like an absolute pro. What do you do? What are the steps you need to take? For me, what would I do? Having worked hundreds of shows, planned hundreds of shows, I've come up with six things that I am going to go through with you. I can't wait to share these things with you. But first, you have to make sure that you actually pick the right show. So check out this video. I'm going to drop a link into the show notes. I've recorded a whole video on the things you need to do to make sure you actually picked the right show for you because these are a huge investment. You want to make sure you made the right decision. And if you pick the right show, here's the six things you need to do to make sure that you are ready and you get more sales, more leads, more profits than if you just were winging it. So number one thing you need to do is you need to research the show. Research, research, research. Take a lot of time to figure out everything you need to know about the show and especially your audience. Who is coming to the show? What, what industry are they from? Are they consumers? Are they businesses? Know everything about them. Anything that you could possibly figure out, you need to know everything you can about your audience because that's going to be critical in crafting the right branding, the right messaging, which we'll talk about in a little bit. So that's number one, research the show. Number two, figure out your budget. These things can be very, very expensive and you need to know all the fees, all the costs, everything that's going to be uh, associated with that show. So everything that the show costs, the, what's the cost for the booth space, if you need electricity, if you need whatever, you need labor to help set up the booth, all these things you need to take into account. And also you need to figure out, are we traveling there? How many days is the show? Is it going to uh, cost us for hotels, meals, transportation, all that? And then how many people am I going to have there? And those people coming out of the office, not doing their normal jobs. And I still still probably have to pay them as well. So you have to figure out all these costs. What's your big cost, the end cost? And then once you figure out your budget and as the show actually meets the budget, then you need to set goals for success. First of all, you need to make sure you understand your business. I'm going to have to do a little math here. Sorry about that. But if you want to make money at the show, you need to figure out what you need to get out of the show to at least break even or make a ton of money for, for the show. And if possible, if you do this right, you can fill your lead pipeline for the whole year. So here comes the math. If you're getting, how many leads do you need to convert one of those to a sale? What is your average today? So you need to figure that out. So if you you need to make 20 sales to break even at this show, that how many leads do you have to, to get in to make those 20 sales? You need to figure all this out so that you're not going in thinking that you're going to crush the show and then you come out and go, ah, that wasn't very good. So have the goals for success. That's number three. Number four, you have to need to focus your message directly to the audience. We did the research on the audience in step one and everything that they're going through, everything about the industry, everything about these people that you need to know. And now you need to focus that message. It's got to be very, very specific to your audience. So make sure you are focused so that you are attracting the right people. So that's uh, step number four. The fifth thing I would do if I was at my very first show is I'd figure out what are the questions that I want to ask to everybody. There's got to be at least one that I want to get this information. What is the key thing I want to know from that from that person I'm talking to? So say, for example, we're going to a bridal show. I want to probably know when's their wedding date and maybe what's their budget for the product and service that I provide. Maybe I'm a photographer. Maybe I do flowers. Maybe I'm a venue. Maybe I need to know how many people they're going to have so that my venue is the right, the right size for them. Don't just assume everybody's the same. Make sure you have those questions that are critical. And you need to ask those right up front before you really get in deep down into your pitch and your sales uh, presentation. Because if that person walks away and you didn't get the right information, it could be a lot of time spent wasted trying to follow up with that person. So figure out those questions you want to ask everyone and get those into your presentation real early on. And then number six, you got to practice. Practice. Where is everything going to be in the booth? Where am I going to stand in the booth? Where are the other people going to stand in the booth? 
and then practice what are the questions you're going to ask to engage people. We didn't even talk about that, but questions you need to engage people, and then the questions you need to get, you need to answer, and then then practice your sales presentation and make sure that it is quick because the more the longer you go, the more people are going to walk by you never have an opportunity to talk to. So that's number six, practice, practice for effectiveness. So those are the things, six things I would do if I were going to my very first show. Obviously, there's so much more that you can do. I've had a so many videos and, and hundreds of podcast episodes all around things you could do for your show. But these are the basics. You got to get these down. If you're going to that very first show, now that you know these six things, you want to rock your first show, then click on this video to level up your game even more.